Standard Ruler and Compass Constructions Level 6 National Curriculum Grade D GCSE OK, here I'm going to show you um, three different uh, constructions. We're going to look at um, perpendicular bisector, an angle bisector, and how to construct an equilateral triangle. So let's start with a perpendicular bisector. Now a perpendicular bisector is um, is when we've got two points A and B and we want to construct a line that bisects the line that joins them so it cuts the line in half at right angles so it's called a perpendicular bisector for that reason perpendicular means at right angles, bisector means to cut in half but it also can be described as um, all the points that are equidistant from A and B. It's actually a bit big, let's just make that a bit smaller. Okay. Um, which is what we call the loci. The loci are the rules governing um, how we draw stuff. So if we ask to draw all the points that are equidistant from A and B, if we drew one point as equidistant, so somewhere equidistant means the same distance, so that would be right in the middle. And then if we moved it up a little bit, so that, that was the same distance from both, then another point. So all the points at the same distance of both would end up being on a line that's perpendicular to these two, a line joining these two, and it would be a bisector because it, um, so that it's equal to both sides. Now the way we do that is to get a compass um, and we um, set the compass. Oops. So that it is um, over halfway between A and B. The reason why we do that, if it's not over halfway, then the uh, it, it won't actually join up. So then, then we we draw a sort of semicircle from there. Then we can move it over to the other side. Make sure our point's on B, and draw a semicircle from there. And what we've done there is to create. Um, two arcs at the same distance from both points. So where they cross, this point up here, this is my writing, and this point down here, are equidistant from A and B. It's the same distance from A and B because it's on the same uh, circumference of a, a circle with the same radius. And because those two are equidistant, then all the points that are between them, so all the points that are on this line, are also equidistant, so my three points weren't quite in the right place to start with, but they give you the right idea. Um, and this is, if we actually drew a line in from A to B, this line here we just constructed would be at right angles or perpendicular, and it would cut this AB line in half. So it's a perpendicular bisector, this line going this way. And it's, it also um, demonstrates all the points that are equidistant from A and B. The next one I'm going to look at is an angle bisector. And uh, an angle bisector is all the points that are equidistant from the line, or two lines, AB and AC. So if I have two lines that uh, join at a point, so let's just draw in two lines that meet here. And I want to cut that in half so that I've got a line coming out that's, this, that's halfway between those two lines, or it bisects this angle so it's halfway. That's also constructing all the points at the same distance away from both lines, um, because every point along that angle bisect will be equally distant from both lines. So to do that, again, we use the compass. So let's bring the compass in. Let's put the point on the, on the, on the angle. Um, let's move it up a little bit. Now, the, it doesn't actually matter where the, um, how make, big you make this, you just want to make this comfortable so it cuts both lines. Um, one point there, and in fact we can just draw a little part of a circle there, so it cuts both lines at these two points. Uh, we want to do that, it doesn't actually matter as long as I keep it the same for each part of the shape. So 53 degrees. Okay. So now I'm going to move it so my point is on 
the point where I cut the the arc cuts the line. And I'm going to draw another arc. Or I'm not. There we go. Somewhere in the middle, and I'm going to do the same thing over here and move it up to this point. And here I've now constructed a point that is the same distance away from both lines. And I then can draw my line going through that point. So it goes through the center, through that point. That is the angle bisector that cuts the angle in half exactly. And when you're doing these constructions, you must keep the arcs that you draw left on. It doesn't, doesn't matter how messy the diagram looks, as so long as you've got these arcs, as these arcs show you that you've constructed it and not just got a, a ruler and a protractor out and guessed where it goes. And the last one we're going to look at is an equilateral triangle. And the reason I'm going to do this one is because it demonstrates a couple of things. It demonstrates how to draw a triangle, and it also demonstrates how to create a 60 degree angle. And from a 60 degree angle, you can use the, the angle bisector to create a 30 degree angle if you need to. Okay, so an equilateral triangle. So um, we're not too worried how, how big the triangle is. If we were, if we wanted to make it a certain, a certain length, then uh, obviously we can start by using a ruler to measure it out. Um, but as we're not told how big it needs to be, I can just draw a line. So if I wanted to draw a five centimeter equilateral triangle, I'd make this line five centimeters. And then I would bring my uh, compass in, put it on one end, make sure my compass is opened up to the, the whole length of the line. Okay, my line's a little bit longer, but it's it's pretty close. And I just draw an arc going up from there. So there are all the points that are five centimeters from this point. And what we're looking for is the top of the, the triangle. So that would be that would be all the points that are five centimeters from both corners. And that, that get I can get by um, doing that arc there. And then I can just join it up from there to make my equilateral triangle. So on an equilateral triangle all the angles are uh, all the angles are 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees. This is 60. And this is 60 because they're all equal and they must add 180. So if I need to do a 30 degree angle I construct that angle there using the equilateral triangle and then I bisect the angle to get 30. Um, if I want to draw um, construct a triangle of a different side, so maybe 5 by 6 by 7, then I just change my arcs to be the right length. So if this the base was 5, then the next one was 6, I would just move it out, make my compass out 6, and draw an arc. And if I want the one to be 7, make my compass out 7 and draw an arc, and where they cross would be the top of my triangle. So that's how we do some standard constructions with a ruler and compass mark the top of the triangle where the two arcs cross. That's our 60 degree angle. Now I don't actually need to join the whole thing up to make the triangle, but that gives me my 60 degrees. This angle here will be 60 degrees, let's hope.